it's incredible seeing how everything kind of ties together in one region. I find it really striking to walk around a corner and come across an ancient Roman site and then look to the left and see an old volcano. It's all here. We are in the town of Puzzoli, which is located nearby the city of Naples. This is a volcanic province in southern Italy. It's a really cool place to study the interaction of geology, Roman archaeology, and volcanology. The students are working in groups to choose a different site, be that an archaeological site or a volcano. We fly the drone over these sites and it captures images at certain intervals along a, a kind of a set flight path. And then we have this extremely impressive software. And with a bunch of photos, the software identifies common points, but taken from different angles. And then stitching together all the photos creates a photorealistic three-dimensional model. We can actually take accurate measurements of the areas we have the area right in front of our eyes at that point. We can get much more of a precise sense of the size of the pillars in the marketplace in Pozzuoli or the width of the crater of Mount Vesuvius. You can zoom in and understand things that would be inaccessible to us at the site. And I think that's especially important because these sites are ancient and fragile and delicate we get to preserve them in kind of a new way using that 3D mapping drone technology. There are people from all sorts of different backgrounds. There's, you know, multiple engineering students like myself. There's also students who study classics and students who study chemistry and students who study like geology and geophysics. I think it's really, really powerful to be in an environment where you can combine your skills and your different perspectives and then get much more diverse and creative solutions. There's in fact large amounts of tectonic and volcanic activity in the area surrounding this town. It has all of these natural phenomena going on under and around it, you know, including Mount Vesuvius and the caldera that spans this whole area. This has been one of the larger challenges for the people who are living in this area who have had to evacuate or even in more ancient history when all of the people in towns like Herculaneum and Pompeii were then killed due to the eruption. I grew up here and I was a teenager when in 1982 this town was evacuated for at least two years because the fear of an impending eruption. The volcanoes in this region particularly spew ash and this ash that they release is one of the big things that we're looking at because it was used in Roman concrete. When the Romans discovered that mixing the Puzzolanic ash with water created very, very strong rock, they proceeded to export this ash across the region. It shows a huge intersection between volcanic activity and its impact on the history of this region. Today, Roman concrete is still of great interest because, as we know, this concrete is very durable. So it's our interest to leverage knowledge between geophysics, archaeology, and uh, engineering to make new sustainable materials. For students, it's very important to be here because they can establish connections between what they study and books and journals with the actual reality. The history seems so much more real when you're actually there and inspires all sorts of intuitions and curiosity. The reason we're so fascinated with these amphitheaters and these marketplaces is because that human aspect, you know, that's our history. Seeing those firsthand is, I think, the only way to really understand them. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.